Hi, I'm Margot Kuntz. Um, I am a painter and I've made a acrylic painting um, with a little bit of oil pastel in it. Um, so I grew up in rural Indiana, as is pretty common for Indiana. Um, so pastures, small school area, that kind of thing. Um, I got into art actually originally from a art program that my county had, um, which was a mural camp. So we learned how to actually create murals um, from a sign painter from like New York, and it was pretty wild, especially for a small town. Um, and I think having seen that murals were like an actual like career and profitable that kind of flipped something in my brain and I was like, oh, I can like do this. Um, so how I approach work is I like to think about it as like an ongoing like building process. Um, so a lot of my work is derived from like scenes around the local community that I'm in. So Indianapolis, so where I go to walk, where I work. Um, I pull images from this and sometimes from friends and their routes. Um, so over time I am building kind of like a layering of images and ideas and different perspectives of what it's like to be in this place. Um, so the context of my work is just trying to fit together as many different ways that a city or a place can be seen into like one image. Um, so inspiration for my art, I really love overlapping patterns and like heavy detail and like decorative arts. Um, and I like to kind of think about them as quilts sometimes. Um, so sometimes thinking about like craft art or what's con uh, considered craft art by like modern museums um, and pulling that into like painting. So quilt ideas, um, repetition of pattern, um, the, what is it, like decorative, um, floral art that you often see in like, I don't know, like bowls and like plates and things. Um, I like thinking about bringing those into like a painting scenario. Um, for also inspiration, I just, there's a lot of cool stuff that's in Indianapolis and, or in cities, just in the areas where aren't as um, heavy with just like um, development, I would say. Like in those little pockets of empty lots and like parking lots and sidewalks, there's a lot of cool things happening. Um, and I think it's a really like beautiful little spot, especially when you get multiple people interacting with it, um, wildlife, like bits of plants popping up, it becomes like a really interesting um, pocket into the city. Yeah, so right now I work um, with exterior latex acrylic paint, um, so basically like mural paint because um, I split up time between like murals and like smaller scale paintings. Um, so I use the same paint for practicality reasons. Um, before that though, I was in like oils and sculpture. Um, at the moment, I don't have a studio space to facilitate that. Um, so my work has definitely adapted to my living situation. Um, so working on smaller scale and with non-toxic um, materials. So I think queerness manifests itself in my like practice just because I am a queer person and like artwork that I make is going to have like a slightly different lens from like someone who isn't queer versus like every other type of person is going to have a slightly different lens. Um, I'm still investigating the full expanse of how it interacts and where there's carryover and overlap between queerness concepts and concepts of my art. Um, I think decoration. Um, is a concept that is consistent across like queerness and like my paintings. Um, so I'm a drag king, so I do drag, and a lot of drag is like decorative and camp and having um, extravagance, um, which is really fantastic. And I think I like to pull some of those ideas into my painting, even if it's not like decadent and extravagant, but these ideas of decoration and repetition and like, um, like if you if you've ever seen like a drag outfit that's been um, stoned with like millions of little stones on there, it's incredible. Um, I like to think about similar processes in my work of just repetition and making something as vibrant as beautiful as possible. Yeah, I think um, while my work is Indianapolis specific, the concepts that I'm thinking about don't have to apply to Indianapolis. It applies to like any spot where you have multiple 
ideas and concepts interacting. So like, um, like urban spaces with like rural spaces, um, anywhere where multiple people are passing in an area and like interacting within different ways. I think you can transplant that pretty easily to different cities. Um, yeah. I think my work relates to Indiana on a broader scale, um, just because it does incorporate like parts of my like rural upbringing with like where I'm living now and like things that I'm learning and people that I get the chance to an opportunity to talk to and seeing how those different things kind of smash into each other. And there's bits and pieces that like family from like rural area are like, wow, that's something that I relate to. And then people from like where I live in Indianapolis are like, wow, that's something that I like see. Like I know where that spot is roughly. Um, so I think it relates to just this kind of interesting way that Indiana is of having this like beautiful like urban like city in the center and then a lot of like rural areas right outside of it and kind of how they interact and what ideas like rural Indiana has about Indianapolis but aren't true and like helping them or like sometimes helping that divide of different um, views of the city like narrow a little bit and helping like people see like oh wait there's a lot of really cool and like beautiful like things happening everywhere. Um, so my piece Hudson and East North Street is a acrylic painting. It's three by five. I wanted for it to be kind of tall and long in a different kind of perspective than you usually have. Like I wanted to highlight tree height and building height and kind of push your eyes from top to bottom in a different way um, versus like typical landscapes tend to be left to right. Um, I wanted to have like a full fledged looking at the thing. In this piece too, there are a couple like native plants. I do a lot of research in terms of what's like native plants to Indiana and try to incorporate those and at least their shapes or their imagery to make it um, real and more tactile to like Indianapolis. Um, in this piece too, there's also three little deer. Um, deer have been a consistent kind of imagery that I like to pull into my paintings. Um, I think they are pretty common in Indianapolis and they're like a very, or not, or in Indiana broadly. Um, but they've got a, honestly, they're really fun to paint. They got a lot of cool shapes. Um, and they also have a interesting way as being a stand-in for like someone looking at you. So like when you paint like a portrait, you're like making eye contact with the like person in the portrait. Um, I kind of like the deer being that stand-in of like, oh, while you're witnessing this painting, you're also being witnessed. So you're having like a small little interaction between something moving in the space and you as like the person looking in. Um, let's see. Yep, this painting also pulls from um, a couple buildings down the way uh, that's like an actual intersection. Um, so there's like a bunch of construction down there. So it's been, it's really interesting to see all the like different scaffolding and like pieces of just like materials happening there um and as it like changes and progresses it's kind of like a little environment um so i wanted to capture some of that especially just because it's like a common walkway where a lot of people move in and out of um so it's getting a lot of change daily so i wanted to pull some of that in <laughs> 